Hi there, I'm uh, Chris, uh, the factory manager for Radial Motion Bespoke Engineering and we're the guys that make the three-cylinder radial engine that's uh, currently being fitted as an OEM in the Myers-Manx Beach Buggies in California. This is so cool. So I've been really excited about coming down today because caught up with Ron Goodman, saw one of these motors in his 356 ages ago. I've considered what am I going to do with my 356. <laughs> We're in South Australia. Yep. Where else do we want to be than other than here? Absolutely brilliant day today. So we're going to do a bit of a tour. Yep. Look at the engines, get a bit of an idea how they are. Some of the stuff that you're doing. There's yep. some secret stuff which will be off camera, <laughs> but we might talk about that in a subsequent video yeah, in at some point. In a future video, So yeah. let's wander around and see what we've got here. Yeah, we'll just walk around. We'll, um, I'll show you around, quickly show you around the machine shop. So we've got... Uh, um, basic suite of CNC machines. We've got the five axis Haas CNC centre. We've got a three axis, a three axis and a CNC lathe. Wow. Um, all this is, is with, you know, just for the manufacturing of our radial engine and prototyping. We've now the three cylinder engine, um, the radial, the 135 brake horsepower naturally aspirated one now is a an OEM fitment now in Myers Manx in California. Um, the company very excited year last year. We we got Trousdale the start. We we saw that Beach Buggy had been bought by Trousdale Ventures. They were reimagining reimagining it and bringing it into the future. We bought an old Beach Buggy. We fitted an engine in. We sent pictures and, and and video footage over there. They said fantastic. Send us a few. Almost immediately they ordered a, a, a twenty engine package. We've spent a lot, of, a lot of time last year, you know, backwards and forwards to California, fitting up the kits, refining the, the product, refining the kit, making it absolutely perfect. And in that period of a year, Trousdale then became one of our major shareholders. They actually bought into the business because they, they loved the product so much. And we'll see their engine sat in the back <clears throat> of a Myers Manx in a moment. It just, old car, but looks like the new was made for the old. Yes. Like they, they looked like they were always meant to be together. You know, when Bruce you know, designed the car back in 1964, there's a cutout at the back of the car. It's, it's absolutely perfect for the top cylinder of the radial engine. It's, it's as if he, he knew that uh, 60 years later, there'd be a company in South Australia fitting the engines to that buggy and making it and bringing it into the future. We've got an engine dyno outside. We've got a roller dyno, which was um, a guy called Andrew Fritzel. Um, Eastwood Engine Development. He had a, a, roll, a rolling road dyno out, out at his facility. I kept nattering him and we kept going over there and he said it'd be a lot, lot easier for us if we could relocate it to our facility. Andrew was a very, you know, absolutely massive supporter of us. So yeah, he, he said, yep, yeah, let's, let's relocate it to um, Bespoke Engineering. So we've got- Rolling you know, dyno. Yes, yeah, so a rolling dyno. Components being manufactured. Yeah, so we do a, do a do a, a range of casts. So we've got cast 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 parts. We do a lot of billet parts. There's a few parts that we don't make in house. We don't, you know, we we, we make everything except for the uh, crankshafts and the camshafts. And, okay. Um, obviously, buying proprietary pistons, valves, conrods, etc. Oil pumps are made in house, and everything that goes in the engine. Four engineers. Okay. At the moment, and yep. they're doing an absolutely fantastic job. We. We've got the team is absolutely um we're on point at the moment yeah so from the office out to actually the floor where it all happens yes so this is the buggy we talked about earlier yeah lovely yep. color lovely engine and what a hell of a setup on that thing it it looks perfect uh people might notice the difference from ron goodman's that this one actually has a little bit of extra horsepower yes bolted to it yes yeah this one has yeah it's uh this is a from Ron's car, this one's got a, um, a new plenum. So we did a lot of induction, um, a lot of intake work. Billet, uh, billet plenum there for the uh, for the, the American market. They saw, they saw we, we did a cast plenum, we did a, a billet plenum, and it's like, yeah, we've got to have the bling. Yes. So, we, so we've got the bling. And especially on the back of a Myers Banks. Yeah, yeah, it's all on show. It's gotta be shiny. It's got to be shiny, it's got to be there, you can see it. And it has that like California, 
Beetle, yeah, Manx the, kind of vibe. Yeah, about the it. California, the the Newport, the Huntington Beach. Yeah, vibe. absolutely. Um, there's nothing better than cruising, you know, cruising down Newport Beach in a in a radial engine beach buggy. It just it, people stop and stare. You, you can't go. You, you you go for a coffee and a donut and no, um, and you end up not getting a coffee and a donut because uh, you just end up stood talking about the car and the engine. And it's been a long process. It's it's taken taken longer than we thought it would do. You know, we're six years in now, and we we found very early on when we started developing the engine that uh, you know the burning petrol side of it is absolutely it's easy. That's that's the easy part. It's then refining the engine, refining you know the balance, the the cooling, the oil to actually make it work properly, and the tuning with it being a you know three cylinder. We've got 120 degree. Obviously, separation between cylinders, so firing order with with goes one, three, two. So it's quite a it's quite a lumpy engine. So which gives it that distinct sound. Yeah. You know, because of the overlap of the uh, there's no real um, overlap with four four cylinder, six cylinder. A standard internal combustion engine. We've got your pistons. You've got your valves. Uh, your, your, your camshafts. So it is, in all, all essence, it's, it's, a, it's a standard, stand, standard thinking internal combustion engine. It's just the, the configuration that we've actually rolled it all out. You know, rather than being in a line, we've spread them out. You know, it's, it's not your conventional radial engine with a, a master and a and slave crank. This is, um, we've got Crank down the center, the rods are all attached to the same pin. So we've just got one, okay. cr one crank pin. The cylinders are set back um, the 12 millimeters of the thickness of the conrod. So it's all on one pin. We've got uh, one, one, one camshaft per cylinder. But as simple as that. As simple and as that. And the standard engine without the turbo yep. kicks out around what horsepower? Around 135 brake horsepower, um, which is more than enough the, the torques that we've got like 130 brake or uh, foot pound of torque okay so in a beach buggy it's absolutely there's no problem there at all you can no. lift a wheel it's fantastic fun to drive the torque is you know torque is absolutely phenomenal i think as soon as you say you can lift a wheel then, yeah then that's where the <laughs> the fun kicks in yeah but then with the turbo fitted yeah what size turbo are you running at the moment what Kind of um, we, 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 we still we're still doing turbo development we chose a turbo which in uh, in on reflection was slightly too small we, we, we were using the upper band of the turbo okay but with 12 psi boost we got 300 well we got 296 brake horsepower out of it the week before christmas it was a really really hot day we're thinking yeah if it had been a bit cooler we'd have brought the 300 the you know 100 brake horse per cylinder would have been phenomenal would have been fantastic and when um, you think of it like that, that it's a hundred per, per cylinder, cylinder yep. that's an interesting kind of way to yep. think about it. Yep. And it's a massive change from like the naturally aspirated yeah. power that you're getting versus then what for all intents and purposes is a bolt on kit for the yeah. turbo. Yeah. And that makes a, that's a, that's a remarkable. Oh, it's, it's, it's a phenomenal difference. engine then. It, it just loves fast induction. So even even small boost if we put a small supercharger on there it turn it into a different motor again so we 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 thinking when we get when, when we spec next time it goes on the dyno we'll we'll spec up a slightly uh, slightly different turbocharger do a bit more work we you know the exo we had a very rudimentary exhaust system on there so we we'll, okay. we'll we'll do a, a, a lot more development flow with the exhaust and, and flow Yeah, we, we perceive that 350, 380 brake horsepower is more than achievable. It's more than achievable. And, and, and From a motor like this, Yes. and let's ignore the fact that you've got 350 horsepower in a Myers Manx for just, yeah, just yeah. a small moment, because that's, that's a <laughs> pile of fun. It, it feels like you probably need um, wheels yeah, wheelie on bars the, on Wheelie there. bars, wheelie that's, bars that's, that's what there. I yeah. was looking yeah. for. Yeah. 
just to make sure that everything stays as it should do or a lump of concrete block at yeah, the yeah. front might also be handy but it's a <laughs> hell of a motor yeah no we're very very proud of it and it's it's now becoming our calling card because predominantly we are a an r d company a prototyping company it's now become our calling card because you know people come and they want us to engineer stuff and they say well what can you do and you just say well this is that this oh, is yeah this is this this is what started out as um a, a saturday afternoon thing <laughs> you know nick nick uh, nick Meberson, the owner of um bespoke engineering he how it started was he's 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 a sport pilot and he's got his own plane and he wanted to you know the, the uh, wanted to make his own radial engine for it so we, we started making a radial engine and once we've done the first one it was right well what, what should we put it in you know to do testing you know because it was just a side project yeah um so we purchased the vw beetle which became known as zombug which is just around the corner is, we will take a look at that yeah in a, just a around moment. the corner is it, is it living there without an engine it's at, not got an engine in at the moment we you know sort of like we've got to be grown-ups and and, and and do our day job <laughs> and um, it looks like it was at the adelaide rally and it's yes it's had some fun it's had some fun it, it uh yeah it hit the uh Hit one of the arm cores, decided it was, uh, tried to be a Porsche and it went all back endy. And um, so we decided that, no, we'll, we'll, we'll rebuild it again. So we put a new front end on it and then we decided that we'd probably retire from racing it as it's, um, it's a bit, little bit wild, a bit tail happy. <laughs> now that we've got Myers Manx as our supporter, and yeah. you know these are these are testing and selling very well in the states now so there's some quite famous people have got orders over there and um you no know, we're very proud of it reliability my understanding from ron and obviously if you have an aircraft engine yeah it's got to be reliable it's got to be reliable yep. that we're not having those plop out of the air very often yep. so reliability is key horsepower is brilliant yeah then the fact of how cracking that looks sat at the back there so it's dry sump so we've got an oil tank and we've got you know the oil pump at the front yeah we've, we've got scavenge pumps underneath um and separate oil tank although it does look air cold it is actually water cold so we've hidden the on this particular vehicle we've hidden the radiator at the back of the vehicle behind a bulkhead yeah we've got fans under there but we you know went to a lot of effort to kind of hide that and Oh, because now I remember Ron's is all cooling yeah. at the front of the 356. Yes, yeah. That, yeah, I should have recalled that. Yeah. The, his is all set up there. But it wasn't like a... Sometimes when you see conversions in an old 911 where they've converted it to a water-cooled engine, yeah. the radiators tend to be quite substantial. But this didn't... From what I understand from when I saw Ron's, it wasn't like a massive amount no, of radiators. No, no, well, there's actually three radiators hidden in um, Ron's car. So he's got two, uh, uh, two oil co coolers up the front. Yep. And he's, he's actually got a radiator in the engine bay, uh, where it's tucked down at yeah. the back of the valance. So, you know, a lot of effort went to create the illusion that it was actually a, a, an air-cooled yeah, engine. Yeah, but you're not, um, like sometimes with an old 911, you lift the the front yeah. and like all your space is gone because You've now got it's got a massive rad. radiator yeah. in it. But that's not the case with these engines. They seem to be a lot more efficient. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, we've got a lot of you know the cooling, the fins, which we, the fins is you know, the, the very first engine had a you know, very clean look um, and a lot lot smaller cylinder, a lot more lots lot smaller barrel, lot smaller um, cylinder head. Ron loved the engine but wanted it to have fins and to look air-cooled as because th his Porsche 356 was an aero, yeah. aero theme vehicle. So we, we got some new um, castings made and as you can see, we machined the fins in, so yeah. that, you know, they're machined fins. And that does actually help, you know, that, that, that does help cooling um, and cylinder, you know, cylinder temperatures. So. Yeah, it, do, it does help, so therefore we don't need as big a radiator. Yeah, and it looks great on the back of the yeah. Myers Manx. And we talked about it earlier, like obviously there'll be a bump bar and yeah. things like that on them, but they then, the bump bar is kind of manufactured to line up with the engine so that... Yeah, it follow, follows this line, 
you know, the line of the intake runners. So everything, we're trying to keep everything looking. Yeah, you wouldn't notice it. it, it you, you wouldn't notice it. Other it's, than the number plate hanging yeah. off of it. But yeah, it's, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a cracking look. It, it's been designed to be a pretty, you know, a pretty, a pretty engine. So yeah. it, you know, a lot of engines nowadays, you, you, you can't see the engine. Pardon plastic me. all it's over it. It's all them. plastic all over yeah. it. We want to see the engine. You know, you could put tin work over there, you know, and, and air cool it, but why would you? It's just such a gorgeous engine. So this is so, the Beetle we mentioned <laughs> earlier. Bless so, her. So this is Zombug, poor old, poor old Zombug. So this is um, the, the car that went, when we did the first engine, we didn't want to go flying, so we, we, we found this. Um, and it, it was in somebody's front garden. And we thought, right, well, we'll fit this perfect. We'll make the engine Yeah, fit it looks this. like a Superbug, a 70s, it's 70s a, it's, a, it's a 70s Superbug. Um, so we put the engine in. Yeah, we did a, we've done lots of testing in it. It's yeah. been great fun. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's, it's looking a little bit unloved at this point in time. <laughs> uh, but we will, we will put another engine in and use it just for... Just for a shop vehicle for you know taking to events and and whatnot, but we won't race it again as as you saw with the you know, the front bonnet that came off it. It was yeah, a brave it, man who got in this it, with uh, it, with a lot of horsepower <laughs> and gave this a bit of a yeah, pedal. Yeah, I, I wouldn't like to. Um, yeah, we, we don't want to risk our lives anymore. No, that's uh, that's a brave man who's done that. Well, yeah, the, yeah, it's 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 covered. In, it's got lots of um, as you can see, everything's. We'll make it work. It's all looking done. Yeah, it's, it's, test fit it's, and it's a test vehicle. We've got holes everywhere. It's uh, but we, we, we've all got a lot of um, we all we, everybody here loves it to bits. So yeah, you know, we will at some point put an engine in it and start using it again. If I want a radial engine in my car, yep. What do I need to do to make that happen? Well, you just give me a call. Give us, give us a call, you know, if, if we've already done the kit and the, uh, the conversion for your particular vehicle, all well and good. If we haven't, you know, we'll get the car in, we'll, we'll scan it, we'll measure it, we'll look at making it fit and then go from there. Yep. So you've done combis, Beetles, 356, yep. the options are yeah. endless. Yeah, options are en endless. Yeah, you see from the engine, we've done a, done a detachable rear cover for it so that we can actually put any bell housing on. So we'll just, you know, you want it on that gearbox, we'll make a rear cover that will will fit on that fit on our engine and fit on your gearbox australian made manufactured design develop you know support the hey made in australia yep. theme. it's a and it's a three-cylinder engine <laughs> with a hell of a lot of horsepower and it yep. is it is cool sounds phenomenal yeah and it's cool it, it's like it's it's it, it's back to the old days of engines so it's it, everything's been designed in it so that you can take it to bits you you can you can take it to bits and put it back together again. Engines nowadays, they're very disposable. They do 200,000 kilometers and that's it. They, they, they go in the bin. Epic. <laughs> Thank you so uh, much for today because uh, this has definitely been a bit of a bucket list item. We're here in Adelaide for yeah. a couple of days. Really appreciate it. No, fantastic. It's been a pleasure showing you around. We absolutely love showing people around and uh, you know, meeting, meeting people that just love cars and engines and as much as we do.